Hello guys and welcome to this session about the 5G hardware specification course. Uh, today I'm very exciting to explain to you uh, the 5G Huawei hardware solutions. Huawei is one of the most uh, 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 important vendors in, in the world uh, wide wireless market, if not the most important one. There's a lot of noise <laughs> politically uh, about Huawei solution, but we have to say that Huawei is one of the, the, one of the vendors that uh, have uh, succeed in doing uh, a major uh, a major jump in the wireless industry and have been very successful uh, in moving very fast and uh, with an innovative solutions. Uh, so today we will start with Huawei G Node B and how it compose of. Uh, different from Nokia of the last sessions, um, Huawei has its own ways uh, to uh, just evolve with uh, previous traditions uh, that has to it has been done with its names of BBU and AAU even though with a very very diversified products have uh, uh, tens and tens of products uh, but here we will just select some uh, of those products and explaining uh, explaining them but obviously we cannot cover uh, all so we we'll start with the BBU, and and uh, how about we most common BBU that is used for the 5G is BBU 5900. But the BBU 3910 is also able to support uh, to support uh, the 5G system. The baseband processing unit or the UBBBP uh, have two main boards uh, that are able to support the 5G UBBFW and UBBBPG, and from this UBBG they have G2A and have G3, which is a, the most uh, advanced one, as per my information at least. And then, uh, so this is the baseband processing or the capacity band processing within the BBU. And then we have the transmission board that UMTE and UMTG. UMTG is more advanced than, than UMTE. To make um, a simulation to what we have explained in the last sessions of Nokia, so the BBU 5900 or BBU 3910, I would say it's equivalent to the Nokia Airscale overall system or the AMIA. The baseband processing or the UBBFW and UBBG, and then later on we will discuss the G2A and G G3, is somehow similar to the ABIL cards that we have explained in Nokia. The UMTE and the UMTG, which is a transmission or the main control board, is somehow similar to the ASIK, which we have explained on Nokia. So now you are able to simulate by understanding what I just said is how the solutions are similar. Though Nokia have only one name, Nokia Airscale, ABIL, ACIK, uh, while Huawei have many things, BBU 5900, BBU 3910, and then later on you'll see BBU 5910. And then in the in the trans, in the baseband board you have UBBFW, UBBG, UBBPG, UBBG2A, UBBG3, and you have also many trans many many uh, ports. So this is when it comes to the Nokia Airscale system similarity with the baseband unit and what we said what what's inside. Now the RRU you can have eight transmission eight receiver RRUs. For example, RRU5258 that is can work on the 5G system, which we have also given another example of the RRH that is being used in uh, Nokia. Uh, also, we have RRU in Huawei that is able to use for the 5G, but also the AAU solution, 64T64R, and one of the amazing solution or the series of, is the series of AAU5 uh, that is used for uh, Huawei 5G. So AAU5 is a series that is used for 5G. So you have AAU5613 is the most common one and the most advanced one that supports 62, uh, 62 transmission, 64 reception. And they have also the 32T32R, which is AAU5313. So 56, AAU5613 is used for 6460R. AAU5313 is used for 3230R. Remember the names, <laughs> so it's good for you when you are working and uh, you are understanding it practically. Explain the BBU, the RRU, and the AAU. That was uh, a, a whole G would be from Huawei perspective. Now, uh, talking the BBU again, uh, giving some comparison of the different BBUs that Huawei 
uh, supporting for 5G. If you work it with LTE already, you will be almost heard the names about BBU3900 and uh, BBU3910, but you might not hear about the BBU5900 because it will be more in, in, the, in the 5G system. So let's compare those uh, three baseband units uh, uh, perspectively. You will able, most importantly, I want to explain here this. So the BBU3900 will able to support GSM, UMTS, LTE FDD, LTE TDD, and uh, uh, LTE narrowband IoT. There is no N, so there is no support for the new radio or the 5G. So, in short, BBU3900 doesn't support 5G. It supports GSM, UMTS, LTE, but it doesn't support 5G. The BBU3910 will able to support also 5G for the first time. So, this one will support GSM, UMTS, LTE, FDD, LTE, TDD, uh, narrowband IoT, and uh, 5G. Uh, uh, 5900 is uh, is a better is a better version from the 39010 and it's exactly supporting everything uh, IoT uh, narrowband IoT LTE FDD LTE TDD GSM UMTS and uh, new radio so in general I would say that the baseband unit for Huawei is supporting all the technology as of the air scale uh, but Huawei have many versions of the BBU while Nokia have the Nokia air scale and they are very proud of and they are highlighting it. Uh, well, um, let's talk uh, about uh, the GNOTE B in terms of Huawei taking some more details. So you will see here, this is a BBU5900 for example, and then you have, you can have the UBBG2A and, UBB and the UMT, UMTG2. Now the UBBG is a capacity unit as compared to ABIL in Nokia. So we have UBBG, you have UBBG2A, and later on we will see that how we have UBBG3, which is the recent, the latest one that they have. And the transmission board or the common board, which is equal to ACIK in, in Nokia, is called UMTG2, which can support 10GE uh, transmission. So this BBU will be connecting to the AEU5613 or the antenna unit and form a G node B. That's it. Uh, there is few cards here that uh, that used for different things, but it's not uh, as important for you on, on the on the RF on the solution uh, too much as compared to this is the most important port that we are talking about. And then you just need, need to use either CBE or uh, their handsets Mate 20X or Mate 30 that they are recently introducing to have as a 5G solution.